Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with the genre, Isekai. It's basically when the main character gets transported to a different world and or reincarnated. I've watched my fair share of Isekai in the past and most of them follow the same formula. Main character gets transported to a new world, they're immediately broken upon entering, they fight some type of final boss and that's the end of the series basically. But ReZero is different and today I'll be talking about why I think it is the best isekai of this decade. As always, if you're new, subscribe to the channel and please like the video, it really helps me out. Now, if I had to summarize this whole story, it's basically about not giving up and finding solutions to your problems rather than just running from them. So our main character, Subaru, of course is human, so of course he's prone to making mistakes and he has plenty of flaws. In the beginning of the series, he makes many mistakes and doesn't really seem to want to improve on any of them or try to fix what he had caused. It was almost this willful ignorance about him that made me kind of hate him at first. It wasn't until later on in season one that we saw Subaru's true colors and really kind of understood what he was going through. It was also later on in the series that we found out that Subaru understood very much his flaws, yet he was unable to change them for himself or not able to communicate that. Even with all that, we still found him time and time again making the same mistakes and instead of learning from them, he justifies them. The very belief that he has that he's a failure and nothing's ever gonna work made things that much more worse. In the beginning of the series, we see him meet this girl, Amelia, who tends to see the good in all people. While he saw himself as a complete failure, she saw him as a hero and someone who's willing to work hard and try his best. But all he saw was a failure. What's interesting about this series is that it kind of signifies self-improvement and kind of letting you look at things from a different light. It had an interesting approach to it too. Every time Subaru made a mistake, it pretty much ended up costing him his life at most cases. But he would end up respawning or coming back to kind of fix the mistakes that he made beforehand leading up to those situations. Later on in season two is where we finally saw Subaru finally face his past. He kind of had anxiety growing up, didn't want to go to school, kind of shut himself in, didn't really have many friends, and he had high things of anxiety. Feeling all the pressures of the world, he felt like just wanting to give up in his past life. But he then finds it in himself to break free of that past and realize all you can do is move forward in life and don't look back at your mistakes, but learn from them. I would say as far as tests and challenges, I feel like the other side characters kind of got tested in sim similar ways. Garfield is a particular character that kind of found himself clinging to his past. Beatrice was a character who was fixated on perfection. Everything must be perfect no matter what. And Amelia, who's always been lonely and anxious about her particular race in that era. The whole premise of ReZero kind of just shows that you can improve yourself and you can overcome a lot of things. Which took a different approach from most isekai with the overpowered MC. Seeing these characters improve and develop made them that much more relatable. But what do you think? Did I miss any points? Comment down below your thoughts and I will see you guys next time.